Hi, Murray. Hi. So you were one of the founders of the Off-Broadway movement. Off-Off. Off-Off-Broadway. What, what exactly is the difference between Off-Off-Broadway and Off-Broadway? Well, Off-Broadway is more... Um, um, in those days, it was a step up from, from the more experimental side of things that were going on Off-Off-Broadway. And that's what it was called then, Off-Off. Off Broadway, we were, were commercial, more commercial enterprises. Mm -hmm. When we were much more um, experimental, and we were in churches and cafes, you know, it was when 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 that movement started, it really was on a small scale, and the audiences were, were free. Until later on, when we started charging them kind of a minimal charge for a ticket. But originally, it was it was very. Um, Low, low key, and um, on a small scale. How did Off Off Broadway begin? Well, my my theory is that what was most important about that particular movement at that time was that just before it, in the late fifties, early sixties, there was a very strong um, poetry. Um, center on the Lower East Side. There were a lot of good poets living there, poets and artists and actors, and because the rents were very low. And there was a whole community of, of poets. And poetry readings were a big thing at that time. They were very well attended, and they were like events. So if you, if you had a reading, you, you might have 50 or 100 people there. And the readings began to be developed as it became more popular. They, they developed more into toward performance so that people developed reading styles and then um, which became more and more exaggerated toward performance and then there were um, visual elements added and um, extra voices so that you might have two people reading one poem. Mm -hmm. That, that movement of, of the poetry experiment was a natural development towards theater because the, the idea of, of the language as performance was really enlightening for us. At that time, I was a poet on, on, living on the Lower East Side, and um, I was taken to see a play at Theater Genesis um, in the early 60s. And I, I was just astounded that a, a poet, Lawrence, Fer, Lawrence Ferlinghetti was his name, uh, a beat poet from San Francisco, had written a play called The Inspector with Baggy Pants. And I went to, to see it with a friend of mine who was, a, who was an actor. And I, it, just, it was just so exciting that that poetic language could be embodied in an actor, and that the whole thing could be three-dimensional and live and performed by actors. It was just very exciting. So uh, there were a lot of us who began um, writing poetry for, for, the, for the living voice, for the voice of an actor. We skipped all of that uh, stuff that you learned in college and, and uh, what a play was, and, what a play was supposed to be, and we went directly from writing poetry to writing plays. And I was lucky to have met Ralph Cook, who was the artistic director of Theater Genesis. And um, Theater Genesis was one of the first of the off off Broadway theaters. And he said, he read my poems, and some of it was um, in dialogue form. And he said, well, I'll just produce everything you write. So that's how Theater Genesis that's came to theater... start and Off-Broadway off began. Right, there were other, other writers besides me. Yeah. Right, but you were one of the first ones right. in the Off-Broadway off scene. Yes. That's great, Murray.